Welcome to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, a contaminated landscape in the shadow of its reactor. Twenty years have passed, but this monster of 20th century science gone wrong still casts a radioactive shadow. The acute danger may have passed, but background radiation is still many times higher than normal. It could be centuries before being here is completely safe. We limited our trip to a few hours. Time to explore a notorious disaster zone and its city of Pripyat, population zero. Built in the 1970s to house Chernobyl workers, its 50,000 residents were evacuated in the days after the disaster struck. It really is quite unsettling being here at the center of the world's worst nuclear accident. This is the, the main square of Pripyat, and you can see this whole town completely abandoned. This is the, the palace of culture from the old Soviet Union. Every good Soviet town had one. Over there, a restaurant which obviously dominated this main square, and beyond that, you can see an old Soviet apartment building. The people here were given just a few hours to gather what belongings they could to get out shortly after the accident back in 1986. They were told they'd be gone for just three days, but of course they've, uh, they've never been able to come back. Sudden tragedy is written in every building. We found this abandoned classroom, books still on desks, lessons of two decades ago still scribbled on the blackboard. And the children of Pripyat never got to ride on their Ferris wheel. The city's amusement park was never opened. Now it's a devil's playground of radiation hotspots. But Chernobyl is more than a dead monument. It's hard to imagine, but 20 years of isolation has turned the area into Europe's biggest wilderness, a radioactive lost world where wild animals appear to be thriving. These might be lynx tracks, um, and if they are, that's actually very exciting because lynx are uh, very, very rare. Um, they have a huge range. But while animals may live with Chernobyl's legacy, surely people should not. Yet scattered across tiny villages in the exclusion zone, a few hundred, like Marina Upan, have come back. Born and bred in Chernobyl, she's now nearly 80 years old, and with a husband, refuses to leave. It's my motherland. I was born here, and I should die here. This climate is better for our health. Most people here have bad backs, leg pains. Maybe that's something that would happen in our old age anyway, but we don't know for sure. How can we know? It is the question many are still asking of Chernobyl. 20 years on, its victims, its consequences, remain far from understood. Matthew Chance, CNN, Chernobyl.